got a little different situation here right now. The tide has just switched. It's now coming from the north with all this wind pushing it. So that means we, I'm trying to change my casting technique a little bit. The fish are going to be facing up current just like they were before into the different direction. So I can't throw the shrimp very far into this wind. So I'm trying to throw it across the pipe again. I still want it to bounce downstream to the fish. They'll see it from the side now. We've got a little trough out here. That hasn't changed. Let it, let it give them a chance to get down there about three feet. Then we'll start popping it across that broken bottom. Well, obviously Mark's failed to put me on a fish here. Yeah, but well, I've Mark's five thought. times and I haven't caught a fish. Yeah, you know, my married friends used to always blame me when I was single. It was Mark's fault. He did it. Same thing with fishing. It's Mark's fault. He might have to go to therapy if I start out fishing him anyway, so. More therapy? Yeah, well, I thought they gave up on you. Short snap lets it fall. Short snap lets it fall. Kind of keeps it moving along. KISS theory, that's why we can do it so well. Because we ain't rocket scientists. Although I hear they're going to be out of jobs too. <laughs> yeah, well. I'll give him one more chance. That was pitiful. You know, he said, oh, I'm going to catch one. He got a strike last time. He said he got a strike. I think it's when he ran across my line, actually. One jerk waiting on another jerk, Theory. You do have to really pay a lot more attention when you're casting kind of crosswind because you're going to have a belly in your line. Good news about it, speckled trout is when they decide to eat something, they're going to eat it. They, they're going to thump it pretty good. And the trout that we're catching today, probably smallest fish has been around 17, 18 inches up to about 25 or so. These fish, when they eat, there's no doubt, they're going to eat that shrimp and suck it right in. You're going to stick them. If, if we had an angler here that could actually do that. In a situation like this when we're waiting, we can actually cast against the wind. However, it's just really inviting a wind knot on your, on your rod tip. And it gets very frustrating getting a wind knot on your rod tip when you're waiting. So I'm going to cut him off now because I'm tired of watching him cast and not catch fish. Bye.